Welcome back to another Jess Rosinski show. This one's coming at you way earlier than normal, but woke up early so I could get done with my workout and have my hair all dried up so that I could do this before the impeachment debacle starts because, well, we're almost there. Just inside of 25 minutes. You know, we're going live in there for them to start this giant waste of time and taxpayer dollars because... There's nothing they could do about it. Their whole case has been disproven before they even got there. So, there's you know, some things that bug me. First, this one's a big one. People that say, when they watch this, they're like, you have, no, that's your opinion. So you're allowed to have it. And we're all different. That's what makes America great. You know, when I say things like raising the you know, minimum wage federally, you know, $15 would do more damage than good things to the economy and to people. And then their Lord and Savior, Bernie Sanders, who's running the budget department, which terrifies me, they did their study. And that study says, ding, 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 it would raise, you know, like 900,000 people out of poverty. And like, yes, that's a good thing. But then on the flip side, it said that at least 1.4 million people would lose their jobs because of it which would then throw tens of billions of dollars to people to be on welfare and unemployment and all those kinds of things because they lost their jobs because of it, which is more taxpayer dollars going out. So it would help 900,000, but it would kill at least you know, around one and a half million, which would then put them on you know, the poverty line. So, yeah. You guys is Savior Bernie Sanders and his people did the report and approved everything I said about why we shouldn't do it right. So for all you out there that like to say, well, Jesse, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. It's like, no, I actually look at real numbers and history and deficits and like just what happens whenever they try to do this in places, which is why we have all those self-checkout lanes now in places. Why? Oh, you're going to make us pay more? We'll just get rid of more people. Get more self checkouts so we have to have less employees so we could still make as much money because that is the only thing that employers care about. It's the bottom line. They can give a damn about you as an employee. So, never thought I'd say it, but thank you, Bernie, and your people at the budget, pe and all the people, the budget people. Anyone that works on anyone that had anything to do with it, no matter what part of government, thank you. Thank you for proving me absolutely right appreciate you you're some good people never thought i'd say it none of you probably thought you'd ever hear me say it but thank you and also when you know california we all love california they're trying to model the whole country after it. you know they have rolling blackouts ridiculous crime people fleeing the state like mass like you know pretty much no forest you know maintenance which is why when it catches on fire, everything burns to the ground because they don't do any forestry, anything to cut paths in it. So they just let it just whoosh, rush right through. Um, but they did a f raise, you know, $4, you know, bump and pay for workers at uh, grocery stores because, you know, they're on the front lines and they have been working this whole time, dealing with it. Suck it up, buttercup, you're there. Which, you know, I think that, you know, they go with, out enough mention because they're dealing with all kinds of way more people than most people are on a daily basis sucking it up but they wanted to give them four extra dollars and immediately and i mean like the big companies it wasn't like small mom and pop grocery stores that are already closed probably but four dollars more two of them closed almost immediately so now all those people are out of work and that's not ever like that should be a sign just saying. It's not good. Another thing, though, that's grinding my gears that, you know, Jen Psaki, you know, doesn't seem to want to, and none of them want to talk about it is now that they got rid of all these, you know, you know new fracking pipeline. Where are all these people, you know, you, know, you can just go make solar panels. When, when are you guys actually going to start that? You know, when can they replace that job that they were making way more than they'll ever make making solar panels? Like, when is that going to, like, start? It's funny how they canceled it and said they can go do this, but there's no plan. At all. And all of us with brains are disturbed by this. And, well, all the 
bleeding heart idiots that can't actually look anything up. They're idiots. Sorry, I've tried. They just keep feeding along. Why they go and do that? I mean, people lose their jobs. Yeah, people are going to lose their livelihoods in the middle of a pandemic, and they're going to be told you can go get a job doing this and making peanuts compared to what you were. And they're going to have to bombard the environment for mining just to get enough everything to make all of those solar panels. And, you know, they have to transport everything. And I mean, like, it's really just virtue signaling. Like, it's not actually going to help do anything. All it's going to do is hurt lots and lots of people, lots of states, lots of small towns, and the environment so they can mine all this stuff and then, you know, make them. Transporting these things, you know, that... that makes a lot of emissions in case you're confused and you're not that bright so you don't understand. Hopefully in that amount of time where I waited, if you're watching this and you're confused, you somewhat understand now. Or hell, you could turn me off. I don't care. It's all just true stuff. I mean, that doesn't take much to figure it out. But last thing is a teacher out in San Francisco. Like, it actually got published in a newspaper. But she said that acronyms are racist. Acronyms. Hmm. Better not join the Marine Corps. Lots of acronyms in there. You know, I mean, MNF, when they put that up for, you know, or TNF for Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football. Watch out. It's not, it, those are acronyms, too, technically. NWA, one of the biggest rap groups ever. That's an acronym. So I'd love to know how they're a sign of racism. I mean, my brain actually functions, and I'm not one of the most liberal dumps in the country. So, yeah, I have a brain, and I don't like to dispute garbage and stuff that we know isn't true. Like, acronyms. Acronyms are racist. Like, come on, man. If you believe that, I'm going to break my rule again. Yeah. Don't make people feel lesser. Well, guess what? If you believe that, this is the one time where I'll break it. You're dumb. The capital D. Dumb. You can throw as many U's in there as you want. Just like when I saw Bernie Sanders, you know, who raised. When people started making the memes, you know, he took it, sold a bunch of stuff. I think he made over almost $2 million that he donated to food banks in his home state with the money he made from said meme. And then that same teacher... Somehow said that uh, Bernie's mittens are somehow a sign of white privilege. To me, it just looked like an old guy that they were on. He's from Vermont. Like, last time I checked, it gets cold there. It snows a lot. He's like 80. I mean, what, what the hell's wrong with the man wearing mittens? How is that white privilege? Why, because he's got mittens? That's totally Bernie. I don't like his policy, but damn, the man was wearing mittens. He's 800 years old. He get cold easier then. Like, he was outside. The day wasn't nice. It was windy. And I'm sure he was miserable and he had mittens keeps. And sorry, he didn't have, you know, several hundred dollar leather gloves or any of those things on. To, you know, take all those fossil fuels to make to protect those hands. I know. Him and his mittens are a sign of white privilege. Let's break it to you. People that can make stupid comments like that and then get them posted on there for the world to see and have people backing them up, those are the people that have privilege. There's no white privilege. There's no back privilege. There's liberal privilege. They can say whatever the hell they want and no one's going to hold them accountable. Because look, here we are, this far, and they keep doing it. Like no one stops them when they start throwing violent rhetoric or hate speech or anything to insult half the, di half the country. Almost slipped. But it's okay for them to do it. You know, throw out white privilege, this privilege. Blah, ha, 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 ha. Like everything. But they were encouraged violence and talking about hating half the country for well over four years now. Calling everyone white supremacists, racists, domestic terrorists for y idiots, sheep. All kinds of things. Brainless hacks. You know, for years. But hey, that's okay for them to say. Say, there's no black privilege. There's no white privilege. There's liberal privilege. Because liberals can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. They can lie as much as they want. And it can be physically proven lies. And it's okay. They can keep going. They can do whatever they want. Last time I checked, I mean, you know, we got 
Lots of black athletes and millionaires between all the sporting leagues. A lot more of them. And some, like the NBA, which is like eight, over 80% black. Football. Baseball. Rappers. Celebrities. News anchors. Radio hosts. Musicians in the rock world and metal world. Lots of politicians that have been there forever. Hell, even Barack Obama, black man, one president, twice. But yes, there's white privilege because we're born with white privilege by being white. Because of stuff that happened hundreds of years ago. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. Does that mean I can be mad? I had Irish in me. What? They were the original slaves here well before we were America. And don't give me the crap that they were indentured servants. What the hell do you think that means? Sorry, they just found a nicer way to put it. But you don't see me saying there's all kinds of privilege and freaking out. No, you didn't see the Irish. Why, they just moved on and made themselves lives. They're not complaining about, you know, stuff hundreds of years ago. Or even decades ago. The world has come a very long way since way, way, way. Not that, I mean, way back in the 60s and all that. And then even in places like L.A. and South Central, where all hell was breaking loose. Rightfully, I mean, I don't think the riots were right, but you I mean being as mad as they were after the Rodney King thing, they should have been that pissed off. That was some racist garbage right there. But I mean, saying that we're all born with white privilege, last time I checked, guess what? I grew up with my mom and two sisters in the house, mom working her job at the diner, dad locked up. I say we were absolutely poor, but. Sure as hell didn't have a lot of money. That's what I was poor growing up. Lots of people I know were. But guess what? We did sound like join the Marine Corps. Get yourself scholarships to do things. Do stuff like that and better your damn life. Because you can. Doesn't matter what you are. Because I was poor as hell. Guess what? I got two houses. Had a good job doing with the Marine Corps till my leg blew to hell. And here I am now, doing this, living the dream. Because if you just put forth effort, you can get out of whatever dump you're in. And trust me, anyone that knows Whitehaven, Pennsylvania, no offense to it, great little town, I'd love to live there right now. But there's a very long time where it was dump. A drug-riddled cesspool of just death. And a complete hole. I got out of there. I know people that have gotten out of all kinds of places, no matter what their skin color. Work. Stop blaming things from decades ago and centuries ago. Work. You can do whatever you want if you actually get off your tail and work. But main story, yeah. Bernie Sanders mittens. Yeah, if that's white privilege, then I'm president of the United States. You're just an idiot. Dumb one. If you fall into any of that, you're a really special case. See, I spoke really, really close just so you didn't miss it. You're an idiot if you believe any of that. Totally. Like, you're not fixable level. You're like my brain after all the times I've hit it. There's, there's no hope for you. But before I keep dragging it on even longer and get angry about other dumb stuff, just wanted to get it off my chest. A little food for thought about things I was right on, things that are dumb. Like, it's not that hard, people. Just use your brain, look stuff up. For the love of God. I mean, come on, man. I hate using that phrase now. But um, I'm going to I'm gonna turn back on the projector. I'm going to see how dumb this useless impeachment gets. I appreciate you. Like, listen, share, follow. All over the place I am. Gonna be, you know, expanding here shortly for everyone, so I'll let you know when that happens. Until then, yeah, talk to each other, be good, and till next time, peace.